first time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. This is Tommy Watt for TCT Boxing and IFL TV. Once again, I'm joined by George Ferocious Cambosis. Day before you fly out to LA, how you doing, mate? I'm feeling good, man. Flying out uh, tomorrow, so uh, I'm nice and relaxed. Had a good training session before, so ready to go out there and uh, do the business before April 14th. So that's five weeks at the Wildcard Gym. So I take it you'll be sparring some some top class boys over I'll there. I'll be sparring some some big names, um, world champions, contenders, guys that fought for titles. Um, we're ready to go and do the work like we've done before. Um, we've been there before, we've done the great sparring, so um, I know we go there and do the business. And how's camp gone so far? I know you're never out of shape, but you, uh, you've obviously turned up in the last few weeks as the, the fight approaches, so how, how are you feeling fitness-wise? You know me, I'm always, I'm always fit, I'm always ready to go. If I get a call up tomorrow, I'm ready to fight. Um, we had a great camp so far, and I've been putting a lot of work, obviously, doing my work over here with, uh, with Gary and obviously uh, my other coach, Chris, uh, putting a lot of work with the game plan for, for uh, Tony Lewis and my performance coach Mir as well. I um, mean, that power stronger, that speed, explosiveness. So, um, you see another another version of, of, of Cambosis uh, come April 14th. Yes, yeah, so it's another you know another step up in, you know, it's been gradual step ups for yourself every fight, and, and this is another one of those. He's ranked 11 with the WBA in your five or six at the moment. So this will obviously help with, with those rankings. Um, what do you know of Tony? What have you seen? He, he doesn't have a huge knockout ratio, so he's, you know, he's going to come and, and box as well. So what are your thoughts on your game plan about giving too much away, obviously? Tony, Tony is a solid guy. He's been there for, for a long time. Uh, he's only 30 years old. He doesn't have as many knockouts, but um, if you watch away he fights, no, he throws, he throws a mm. lot of shots. Well, he does have a first. He hurts a lot he's of got people. a couple of first round knockouts when uh, he has got them. So yeah. So look, I see Tony's put up uh, in one of his interviews. You know, he says that you know we're gonna we're gonna he's coming over to have a fight. You know, he thinks that I'm gonna uh, outbox him. Well, man to man, let's fight then. You know, if he wants to fight, then we'll fight. Um, you know, you wanna stand in the middle of the ring? Let's do that then. Um, whatever you wanna do, let's do it. I'll beat you at it any way. Yeah, so you've had people come with that same attitude before and, and think that they can drag you into a fight and, and that's that's the way to be. But you're you're quite happy in that toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, I take it, with, with someone someone like Tony? Yeah, well, look, exactly what his interview said. He's coming here to break something. Well, um, if he can do that, come and break something. But uh, be careful because I'll end up breaking you. And uh, yeah, if you look down, he's got a decent record. He's fought some some very good fighters, fought a few undefeated guys at you know 17 and 0, and you know that sort of level. Probably biggest name would be Derry Matthews on his on his resume, and obviously lost that fight. Um, have you watched much in preparation, or do you focus more on on yourself when when you're getting ready for these things? I'm a pro I'm a professional. Um, I watch, you know, I study, I get the game plan ready. My coaches get the game plan ready. Um, the, the right sparring partners in the US, similar to, to, to Lewis. Um, so he's got some big names on there. Carl Dargan mm. um, was supposed to be the next Floyd Mayweather, they'll yeah. say. He's supposed to be the next lightweight champion. And he was he, unbeaten, I think. Unbeaten, when, yeah. he came in and absolutely blasted him. So that's probably his best his best win. Um, Ivan Redcatch, yeah. and another big name over there, very close fight. Uh, Derry Matthews obviously took that fight on four days' notice. You know, for a world title shot, mm. lost a split decision. So um, in the UK. Yeah. So this guy ain't no joke. We uh, are bringing out the best fighters out. And like I've shown you before, what we've announced as well, just got announced now. Yeah. Um, obviously, Lewis is first. My main focus is on Tony Lewis. But after I, I destroy Lewis and take his then ABA title, um, Daniel Dunn, number two in the world, and that, that fight will be a world title eliminator. And um, there's been a lot of talk leading into that fight um, in, the, in the past year. And obviously, it's signed and sealed now. Yeah, and you know, tail end of last year, we were saying 2018, or you were saying 2018 is going to be the year that you announce yourself and, and bring home that world title to Australia. If these two fights pan out the way you want with Luis and, and Yard on, that's, that leaves you in prime position for a big fight at the end of the year for that world title. Definitely. Um, taking out Lewis and then uh, taking out Jordan and Eliminator. You know, after Lewis, I should be seeing the number three, and Jordan's number two. So that's definitely a world title Eliminator right there. Um, uh, taking these guys out is huge. You know, he, he, the way we're doing is we want to bring the guys here. You know, we've been in negotiation with promoters. We've been in negotiations with, with different guys. Um, you know, we just started for promotions, work promotions. Yeah. Um, we're doing it here, and we want to bring the big fights to Australia. All right, and then uh, so you're looking at um, Luis coming over, and do you think you know? So he's fought big names. He's beat people with your kind of record. Do you think there's a chance that he's coming over here thinking it might be an easy win for him? Do you get that impression? Well, look, in his interview as well, he said he's not worried about winning or losing. Well, that's that's the wrong way to go about it. Um, I'm only worried about winning. That's what I will do come April 14th. 
Um, I know he's going he's to uh, prepare 100% in Canada. I'm going to prepare 100% in LA, in America. And um, you know, expect a, a, a solid um, fight and a great war in Sydney. Yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, so at the top of the tree at the moment in the WBA, you've got Jorge Linares. He's touted to fight Lomachenko this year, or people are hoping that's going to happen. That would obviously be a fantastic fight if it did. Um, do you think if that fight happens, who, who would you be picking first? Well, it's a great fight. Um, obviously, Linares looked a little bit uh, off against Gesta. I think that's with Gesta's style, and he didn't need to do anything extra yeah. in that fight. You know, he cruised to, to, a, to a unanimous decision win. Um, obviously, Gesta was firing, so he, uh, he came out and, and, and tried to get that win, but um, it's a great fight. And I think uh, Lomachenko, with his angles and, and, and his movement, uh, could be a serious, serious um, threat to meeting Linares, but that put us in the mix as well. You know, taking out Jordan by the time they fight, and we take out Jordan Eliminator, um, you know, you're going to see Cambosa and Lomachenko possibly. Well, we, we said we talked about that after um, after the Horn Pacquiao fight, I think mm. we were talking about that. And uh, you know, obviously, a lot of people were thinking that, that was pie in the sky stuff, but mm. say a few months later, and, and here we are, it's looking I love pretty that. I love where people think, oh, that's not going to happen, or he's not going to beat this guy. You know, they said the same thing with Ogilvy and Bala, and they said it earlier on in my career, you know, he's not going to beat this guy for the Australian title, or beat that guy who knocked out this guy. And I mean, that's what I want. The more they talk, the more. You know, I'm going to work harder and, and keep proving them wrong. Um, you get special athletes like myself, elite athletes like myself, that, um, that thrive on that. That's what I do. And I know there's a lot of people behind, in the behind the scenes, um, you know, different, different people, I'm not going to name any names, that are trying very hard to bring me down and trying to throw shade and, and uh, do little things to, to try to put me off. All I say is keep bringing it. I'm a one-man army. And uh, so that show against Tony Luis was originally scheduled for a Wednesday night, but due to popular demand, I believe, has, has been moved to, to a Saturday. So people that want to get some of the tickets that are remaining for that, where, where can they go and, and where's that going to be at? Well, tickets will be released uh, very soon, in the next couple of days. Um, already, the, the demand for tickets on a Saturday night um, is, is, is huge. So get your tickets straight away, www.quaycenter.com.au. Um, go in there, get your tickets and come watch a great fight. Absolutely. And any idea of um, anyone that will be featuring on the undercard for that so far? I know it's early days. Oh, there's some big names, big Australian names. Um, I'll let them do the thing. I don't want to uh, take away from them uh, announcing their own fight. And that's WAC, but it's under WAC promotions, Under WAC right? promotions in association with uh, Ferocious Promotions. So, All right. um, look, I'm 24 years old, and I've got my, my own uh, promotional company. Um, you know, last time we were talking, who am I going to sign to? Everyone's asking, who am I going to sign to? Am I going to sign to that guy? Am I going to sign that American um, promoter? Am I going to sign to that New Zealand promoter? Cool. I am signed to someone myself. <laughs> and I'm, so, I'm my own boss, I'm my, I'm my own CEO, and uh, working with WAC Promotions and doing what we're doing, what we're doing, what we do best, we will continue bringing the big names and the big fights here in Australia. And so, do you have your eye on any prospects to bring in as, as part of the ferocious uh, umbrella? Well, that's the next step. We have uh, our eyes on a few different guys, and we will start to target different fighters and bring them under the banner and look after them the right way, um, the way a promoter should look after them. So, I've got grand plans. Obviously, becoming world champion, multiple world champion. First off, taking out Tony Lewis, and then you're done and becoming world champion. Um, it's all part of the grand, the grand scheme of, of uh, Ferocious. Absolutely, and very, very, very exciting 2018 ahead. And I know you're wearing some of your own uh, attire here with the uh, Ferocious t shirt. Where can people pick up that? Uh, just jump on uh, my Instagram, you'll be able to see the link uh, in my bio and um, you can get all your stuff over there. Get in quick because it's uh, selling fast as well. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time, George. Always appreciated. Have a great camp in LA and we'll catch up with you when you're back in Sydney. Definitely. I'll be back and uh, ready and, and firing in, in all uh, cylinders to take out Tony Lewis. Looking forward to it. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.